We've got um, just what did you see later in the third quarter there uh, when they were able to kind of start their comeback? Uh, I think they played with um, desperation. And they had us on their heels. Uh, and we, we couldn't uh, get good looks. And then we were fouling too much. Got them on the free throw line way too many times. I think um, Brad had a, a stickier third quarter. What was going on with the offense there? He he got, I think it was five field goals that he had. Yeah, they, I mean, they're, they're a physical team. They're a physical team before you even get the ball, which I don't know. Point of emphasis stage, you're not, not supposed to do that. Uh, but, but they are physical. That's how they play. That's their style. You got to you got to make an adjustment. They they were they were they do a good job of, of playing physical before you catch. Chase. Scott, what did they do these two games against uh, Russell Westbrook to uh, you know hold him to the the shooting performances he had? Well, he hasn't shot. He didn't shoot the ball well. I don't know if it was them. He was getting clean looks. You're gonna you're gonna have some nights where you don't make you don't make shots. He was on a, he was on a nice little roll before these two games. Um, wasn't getting wasn't not getting good looks. They were all. Uh, I think they're most of them were open looks. Um, just missed them. That sometimes sometimes that's happened. And you mentioned uh, the free throw shooting. I guess um, just how frustrating is it to uh, to have a game like this where you, where you can look back at that part of the box score like this? Well, we we missed we missed um, you know thirteen free throws. That's that's not that's not good. They're free. We missed them, but we put them on the line too many times. I thought we had a. We, I thought we were having a, a real physical mindset. And in that fourth quarter, we kind of let up. We made some some critical mistakes, and when you do that, they make threes. And when you can't come down and make convert on a on a on a bucket, um, you come down and, and make some mistakes. In that fourth fourth quarter, we gave up too many points and too many attacks and too many uh, shots to their strength. Fred. Scott, just uh, wondering now that it's official, your your reaction to Troy Brown and, and Mo Wagner being traded, and, and Daniel Gafford and uh, Chandler, Chandler Hutchison coming in. Well, I, I wish uh, Troy and Mo well. Both are great kids, good workers. Uh, I have nothing but respect for them. Uh, they're both young, developing players. Uh, Mo got some opportunities, uh, and Troy got some opportunities. Um, I wish them success. Hopefully they get uh, some opportunities in their next spot. Uh, like I said, they're great kids. Um, I wish them well. And all, the all, of our, all their teammates feel the same way. They're both great, great guys, great workers. Uh, we're excited about, about uh, Daniel. Uh, I love his ability to finish around the rim. He's a big time lob threat. And we have that. We don't. We haven't had that in, in, uh, since I've been here. Uh, he, he's very, very bouncy around the rim. He's not looking to. He's not looking for jump shots. He's looking for rim shots. Uh, and he's. I think he's. He's a young, developing player. I think he can uh, be a good addition to our program. We got him for a few more years. So our job is to develop him. Uh, Chandler. He's had some. Some looks early in, the, early in his career. He hasn't played. I think he was in safety protocol, but uh, a wing, a very athletic wing, and we need that. Uh, so he, he fits a fits a need. We need some some length and some athleticism on the on the wing, and I think he knows his game. He's not a three point shooter. He's a pretty good slasher, a pretty good rim runner. Uh, those were things that uh, we we liked adding to our ball club. And he's another young developing player. Neil. Scott, you essentially had to a degree like a seven man rotation with just Denny and Esau getting, you know, very few minutes. Is there any reasoning behind that? Or were you just thinking that the starters were giving you guys the best chance to win? No, the starters were giving us the best chance. Uh, they, the other guys had some chances and didn't go as well as I would have liked. 
Uh, we don't want to play Russell and Brad what 40 minutes. Uh, that's not that's not idea. Brad play 39. Uh, trying to keep that under 36. Um, but we needed those minutes. Um, we got a couple more players coming in, so that they're going to get um, some opportunities and try to integrate them as quickly as we can and and move forward right away. Hey Rui, uh, what allowed them to erase that 17 point? Lead and, and come away with the win over you guys. And I think we start off good the first half, the beginning of the game. Um, I think we we're still up by 16 or something. Uh, the last five minutes. And then I think we, we just let him come back by us doing, you know, just we had a lot of turnovers, um, the bad shots, and, and I feel like uh, for them, they they making the, you know, they making the shot, and yeah, that's why we lost. And then, what was it like to see uh, Troy Brown and Mo Wagner get traded today? Uh, you know, two guys that. You developed with you played with in the bubble. Um, I like both of those guys. You know, those are my guys, and I'm gonna miss them. But I hope they're gonna be good. Uh, they're gonna doing good. The other team. Um, but we got two new other guys. So, um, yeah, we see. It just you know it is it is what it is. You know, it is a business. So. Yeah, I hope they want to be good, not a team. Brad. Hi, Rui. Um, you've had a string of these high scoring games now. Do you feel like in the last couple of weeks that something has clicked for you in particular? Uh, not really. You know, I'm just going to be talk to the coaches, talk to Brad. Russ, talk to my agents, and the the you know they just they just felt like you know I just gotta be more aggressive, and it's not only offense but also defense, you know. Um, yeah, that's why I feel like that's, I mean, basically they told me that's how they're gonna you know I'm gonna help the team to win the games, so I'm just doing my job, and but I think I gotta do better. You know, I missed a couple free throws today and yeah, those kind of stuff, you know, but I'm trying to, you know, I'm just trying to be aggressive every game. That's, uh, that's my, yeah, that's how I've been doing it. Neil. Hey, Rui, how would you describe the mood in the locker room after, you know, a tough loss like this? I mean, not very really good, but you know, of course we we don't want to lose. You know, we're not trying to come out of the games and trying to lose. Um, I think we play hard this game, but we just got to be smarter. You know, we down the stretch we were really smart. You just all the uh, like the other one, both of ends, you know, but the defensively and offensively. I think we are. We are, yeah, I think we can do those kind of stuff and then win those kind of, those type of games. Scott talked a lot about how physical these guys are before even uh, you can catch the ball. Uh, sorry if this is a silly question, but like, what's the adjustment when that's happening? Is it about matching their physicality? Is it catching, like getting to the ball quicker to kind of throw them off their defense? Like, what do you have to do to combat that? Uh, first place, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's kind of been a defensive trend of the, a lot of teams we play recently. Uh, it's kind of denying the ball and being physical and uh, making it tough for me to catch. They're really making it work. Work on the offensive end. Uh, and that's just to get the ball. And, you know, a lot of we try, you know, setting the screens up high, me bringing the ball up, setting some player screens. Uh, you know, we, we try, try some things, uh, multiple passes and things. And, 
some work, some don't, you know, that's, that's the trial and error of it. Um, but, you know, this is definitely something, some new teams aren't, haven't been this aggressive all year. Uh, you know, it's definitely stepped up after all-star break. Um, but, you know, we just got to keep, keep figuring our ways to, to combat it. And how do you feel like you guys fared compared to Tuesday? Do you feel like you were able to make some of the adjustments early on that you wanted to make? Yeah, I mean, was, this is, I put this one on my shoulders. I got to close the game out. Uh, you know, we were in position to win. We came out with the right focus, right energy. Um, and I, I did as well. Like, we were aggressive uh, on both ends of the floor. Um, Rudy was making it tough on Julius. He made it tough on him the whole game. You know, he didn't get going until he made, like, the last two or three shots in the floor, uh, which were big shots, by the way. Uh, but... You know, we, we came out with the right mindset. We played the right way. But, you know, once halftime, the end of that second quarter, halftime crept around, we kind of reverted back to old ways. You know, it's inconsistency in our Achilles heel. Brad. Hey, Brad. Uh, just wondering your reaction to uh, trading Troy and Mo for uh, the two guys in Chicago. Uh, well, I mean, you know, the business aspect of it, uh, you know, it's always tough when, especially I've known Troy since he's been here. I mean, I'm officially probably the longest tenure guy here. Uh, so it's, it's, it's definitely, it sucks, you know, because, you know, you develop relationships with guys outside the game. Uh, and, you know, you see people grow as a man, you know, and then as a player. Uh, and one thing I am happy Troy gets another opportunity to be able to showcase himself. Uh, the same with Mo. Uh, the moment surprised me a bit, but you know, it's a business at the end of the day. Uh, we're trying to do what's best for us. And we know Gafford's a really great big. He kicked our butt when we played him. Uh, you know, so we'll, I think for the first time in my career, I have a lob threat I can, I can throw the ball to uh, off a of pick and roll. But, uh, and I know Hutchinson's a, a pretty solid wing. You know, he's a really good defender, uh, about six, seven, six, eight. So, you know, hopefully we can throw him in the fire and he can give us some, some good burn too. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's never easy around the deadline. You know, there's so many rumors, so many actual trades. Uh, you, you never want to see one of your own kind of go, but you know, it's, that's the business of it. That's why we, that's why we play this game. You know, we, we, we love it, but you know, choices and decisions are made that you can't control and you just got to go out and whatever situation you're in, you can make the best out of it. Neil. Yeah. Hey, Brad, you said it often, you know, you want to win, you want to win now. You had a, you know, patient year last year. How would you assess and describe your level of patience now? And does the adversity that you guys have had to deal with this season play into that? That was always tough. You know I mean? That's a kind of a rhetorical one. You know, it's nobody likes to lose. Nobody likes to keep beating the same dead horse, you know? Uh, so 100%, you know, you get frustrated, you get, you know, you get mad. Um, but, you know, I, I, I keep pushing, I keep duking it up. Uh, and, you know, eventually you run out of games. I said that tonight, you know, we can't, uh, you know, playing hard doesn't, doesn't win you games. You know, we're supposed to do that. You got to start playing smarter and uh, closing out games better. And a lot of that falls on me. So I got to get my head out of my ass and be better. Um, but at the same time, you know, we have to be, as a, as a team, we got we to gotta understand what position we're in. Uh, but to answer your question, it does get frustrating. And, uh, you know, I just try to control what I can control. Mm -hmm.